I'm, go I'm gonna come over, but we're not doing anything sexual. I'm gonna come and see you, but we're not having sex. The dreaded, how tall are you? You look pretty short in your pictures. How tall are you? Well, you might be a bit too young for me if you dated older women before. How do I know you're not a catfish? How do I know you're real? Happy to come over and see you. What are we gonna do when we get to your place? What are you looking for on here, by the way? What are you looking for on the app? Did, are you just looking for a hookup? You're just looking for something casual? Are you only interested in me to hook up with me? What's up boys? Welcome back to another episode on the Mice and Method YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about objection handling. Some common objections that you might be experiencing with women. Whether it comes to you setting up the date, whether it comes to you meeting them in person, or just getting them back to your place, bro. Hopefully you can relate to a lot of these things. And I'm just going to give you some techniques that you should be able to deal with these objections. Smash the like button, subscribe to YouTube channel if you are new. Let's begin. Example one. You ask her for availability and you want to meet her in person. And she says something along the lines of, how do I know you're not a catfish? How do I know you're real? Bro, to handle this objection, all you need to say is, look, you can follow me on Instagram or I can send you a voice or a video message right now or a quick selfie. This is the best way. You give her the options so it allows her to feel like she's in control, but also it nullifies any any type of um, any type of doubt that she has in regards to meeting you. Objection handling example number two: the dreaded "How tall are you?" You look pretty short in your pictures. How tall are you? Now, if you're a tall Donny, I'm saying six foot and above, bro. Put your height, no issues. Six foot, six foot two. I don't care. Now, if you're a Donny that's five foot five to five foot eight, five foot nine, bro. I would say don't put your height, bro. But if you're gonna put your height, bro, you need to fabricate this information. Now I know game is the ability to attract and keep a woman authentically, but every now and again, for you short donnies, you might just wanna bend the truth just a little bit. Or add two inches, bro, to your height. And it was an accident. And that's all I'm saying. But bro, unfortunately, height shouldn't be a factor, but for modern day women, it is. So if you're a short Donny bro, embrace it, man. We're all the same height lying down. Nothing more, nothing less. All right, here we go. Example number three, your age, bro. So especially if she's an older woman and she says, ah, oh, something like, ah, oh, you, you know what? You might be a bit too young for me if you dated older women before. Bro, the best response I can give you is something along the lines of, yeah, I've dated women from 20s all the way up into 40s. I found in my experience that older women have a, a higher sex drive. Can you relate to this? We reframe it, bro. A bit of humor, and we handle the objection like a pro. A little bit of sauce that you might want to add as well, bro, is old women are better communicators, and I can relate to them better sometimes as well. Just add it in there, bro. It's the best way. If you can talk and you can communicate, you can communicate. You can communicate clearly, bro. She's gonna want you regardless. Age is just a number, bro. Nothing more, nothing less. Example three. The dreaded, are you just looking for a hookup? You're just looking for something casual. Are you only interested in me to hook up with me? Bro, listen, best response, bro, say, no, nah, I'm, 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 I'm looking to see how things go. Um, obviously, if the connection is there, then I, I can. I would like to take things further. Best way, you're not lying. You're not telling the truth. You're not lying over. And it depends on the connection. If everything's great, then obviously I'm going to see you three, four, five more times, of course. Obviously, if the connection is not great, then subconsciously you're not going to tell her that either. So just answer the question. Again, another variation on this is, bro, is when a girl says, are you just looking for sex or you're just looking for sex, right? So she's asking you, but she's implying it, basically. You say, no, I'm looking for chemistry. I'm looking for a deeper connection as well. Again, nullify the objection, bro. They know exactly what they're doing. It's how you handle these objections, bro, that keeps you in the game again you can frame it in a way that you can say something like yeah of course sex is amazing i love it i love having great sex with someone who i've got great chemistry with as well so hopefully we can we can build that chemistry up and then have great sex together again just reframe it in a way that you're not dodging the question 
but yeah, teasing her a little bit as well. Oh, very common. What are you looking for on here, by the way? What are you looking for on the app? Bro, keep it nice, keep it chilled. You could spin it both ways as well. So look, I'm looking for a great connection, looking to find great chemistry. And obviously, if you're offering oral sex as well, that's a plus. So we're serious and we're humorous as well. Depending on what vibe she's giving you, you might want to skip the second part of that sentence I gave you. But the first part is most important. Again, you can say something like, look, I just want to meet a cool girl, um, see how things go. Um, I'm trying to keep it chilled. I don't want anything too serious at the beginning, but obviously if it gets there, I don't shy away from it either. Again, you're giving up both aspects of the spectrum. I can be chilled, but I can also be serious. Here we go. Another very common one. I'm, go I'm gonna come over, but we're not doing anything sexual. I'm gonna come and see you, but we're not having sex. What do you reply to that one? How do you, how do you nullify this objection? Bro, simply foot. Oh, who, who said anything about sex? Did I say anything about sex? What do you have against sex? Do you hate sex or something? Bro, put it back on her, reframe it. Apply the pressure, calculated pressure. She's gonna, she's gonna try and scramble something, yeah? Bit of humor, bro, a bit of humor. Don't shy away from it, bro, put it back on her. So now we're looking into the end game. So I'm gonna give you some examples where this last minute, bro. So she's texted you out of the blue and she wants to beat you, but she's still not sure, but she's attracted to you. And you know that she wants to come around and dig the guts, but she still has some doubts. So she'll say things like, look, I'm happy to come over and see you. What are we gonna do when we get to your place? Something along those lines. You can, bro, the best reply, deep down, you know she wants you, but the best reply, you wanna keep it cool. Girls want the guys that don't really want sex. Okay? They know that you want it, but they don't want you to force the issue, okay? Bro, simply put, the best response I can give you is that there's no expectations on my end. I just want to have a great connection. You can listen to music, have some drinks, and see, see what happens. That's it, bro. You already know she wants dick in mouth. You already know. Nothing more, nothing less. Keep it chilled. And another variation, bro. Last minute game or last minute when she pops up and she wants to come over when you're not expecting it, bro. I'm not... I don't have any, she'll say something along the lines like, I don't have any obligations to sleep with you. I'm, I'm coming over to hang out. I'm not trying to sleep with you. I just want that to be clear. Again, very normal objection. How do we handle this? I'm all about having things unfold naturally. I have no expectations. Obviously, if we vibe, we vibe. And if you like me as much as I like you, then we'll have a great night. And that's simple. Yeah, just drop in seeds. You're not sourcing it. You're just dropping seeds, bro. She already knows what time it is. She already knows. She already knows. Again, a lot of guys, even me, I always say, look, two, three dates, you should be digging guts, bro. Every now and again, a girl will send you a message like, um, this is just the second time we're meeting. I don't have any expectations. Um, I'm not, I'm trying to take things slow. Bro, simply put on your side. No expectations on my end. I'm as chill as they come. Well, that's it, bro. Handle these objections. Don't don't run away from these difficult questions that girls ask you. They're only as difficult as you make it in your mind. But hopefully, you can relate to these 10 or 12 examples that I gave you in this video. And yeah, bro, smash the like button, bro. Support me, man. Drop an emoji. Let me know what objections girls give you in the comments as well. As always, keep learning, keep growing, keep leveling up. Peace.